Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Anvil of Dawn. When we last left off, we uh, were exploring the inner area here. And we've got a couple portals that we can go through, but I'm going to just go this way first. Out of curiosity, we'll check out the... Oh, well, I guess we're definitely going through a portal now. This brought us... Okay, that brought us right back to there. Very nice. This one brings us... Aha! Oh, jeez! By the way, I, uh, I did look in the manual, and these guys are misprinted as Lurking Claws. Oh, there's two. Uh, but clearly these are Sebastians, so I don't know what was going on with the uh, the printing of the manual there, but too late now. Oh, another pearl. Okay, we are going to need some more of those. And uh, as it uh, so happens, can we walk past the chest? I'm curious. As it so happens, uh, the plant thingies that we've been fighting, I think, are called Bloodthorns uh, in the manual. Hmm. That does not look like it worked. <laughs> We're back here. Go through again. Aha! This is very confusing. Very confusing. But we're I think we're we're doing okay. Are we doing okay? Maybe we're we're doing okay. <laughs> anyway. Um Yeah, and uh, it turns out I think these these crab guys here are actually uh weak against spear attacks, but the as I suspected, the bloodthorns are strong against spear attacks. So, uh, you know, we're we're kind of shooting 50-50 here in a sense. Except the bloodthorns are way bigger assholes than the uh, the crabs are. Uh, additionally, I'm trying to think uh, I was oh yeah, yeah, I was looking at some of the other enemies and and it seems like, you know, as, as far as like weapons go, the spear is actually not too bad. There's not a lot of enemies that have resistances against spears, but there's a fair amount that have weakness to spears. And uh, it seems like the sword's sort of the middle of the road a little bit. Um, and so, I guess the axe is as well to some extent. You know, there's a, a few enemies that have resistance to sword and axe, but not too many. Um, but there's... I don't think there's really any creatures that are, uh, this is not the right portal, was it? Uh, I don't think there's any creatures that are actually strong against, so, or strong against, uh, or let me rephrase that. I don't think there's, ah, I see, okay. There, I don't think there are any creatures that the sword is strong against, really. Except for ones that have, like, magic resistances and all that kind of thing. Okay, now we're back here. And we probably can put one of these in now. And that gets rid of that portal. Okay, I gotcha. Alright. Ooh, jeez. Is there gonna be more? Is there more? Okay, let's... You gonna come through? No? Ah, this'll work. Um... Also, I haven't forgotten that we have the, uh, the Vampiric Mist spell. I just figured, you know, maybe we'll wait until we get out of the water to cast the water spells. Seems like, perhaps, a, a wise idea. Um, my thought is that the lightning spells are, in fact, going to be the, uh, the most effective thing that we got here. We're actually, like, really up in this bitch now. We're, we're inside the, uh, the circle area, or I guess the square area a little bit more. I don't know if we can get back out without a, a portal here. But I'm curious what's going on on the inside here. Also, up, up there to some extent. Okay, we got more crab dudes over here. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier because we got a... Just, uh, burn him down, that's fine. Just make some crab shish kebab, let's not die though, okay, let's, let's, let's just take it easy. Everything's fine, just, uh, maybe pop a heel. Cool it for a minute. Whew, a little, a little too close for comfort there. Alrighty, there we go. No sweat. Except for that one part where we were sweating, but at least we are in a bath. So that's nice. Uh, let's go back up. I just want to check out the outside first before we get too crazy. Is there... No, that's just a chest. Okay, yeah. I'm going crazy here. Do, do a little dance with this guy. That'll be fine, I think. Oh, not even close. That one was maybe a little bit too close, though. There we go. All right. So it seems like we've discovered a, uh... Thing with four entrances. 
Doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to, uh, to figure that one out, I guess. Alright. How do we get in the inside of this bitch? There's uh, definitely something going on in there. Okay. Alright. We've explored all that. That's good. Very good. Now, what is in here? Another portal. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? But we will take these potions. They've been... Lay, lay it on the ground for us. I think we'd better maybe go ahead and uh, save in the safety slot. Just for safety's sake, of course. And I think we have, in fact, confirmed that, yes, there's there's a hole there. So we can probably get rid of that. Ah, check that shit out. That is open now. And so is that. Cool. All right, so that is good to know. I'm a little sad we haven't figured out what's in there, though. Ah, we're back out. We gotta go back in there at some point, though. I just gotta know. I gotta know what's going on. I don't know if we ever will, though. Because that portal took me into there. I don't know. This game's got some tricky shit up its sleeve. I think, uh, I think there's definitely something in there. Well, we've already gone south, so let's check out what's going on here. Ah, there's our ship. There is our ship indeed. We're not gonna go there yet, though. Where does this go? Right back uh, this way, of course. And this goes... Duh. God damn it. <laughs> back in here. So we got a portal that goes... Hey. Alright, well let's, let's do the thing. We gotta make a quick trip, I think. Not in there, but just around to here. And then down in here. And we'll see, because I feel, I don't know, there, maybe there's nothing in there. I didn't see anything on the one side except for the one chest that we opened. Uh, although I think there was a crab guy behind him, although maybe we killed him. But I gotta, I just gotta know, man, if there's like, maybe the super secret uh, sort of secretness is, is uh, right in there, man. You never know. If it is a sword, we won't use it, but, we, you know, at least we'll have the truth. So, let's see if we can get in there without accidentally going into the other place and then teleporting back out. And, uh, yeah, that would, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> oh, whoop, went a little too far there. Okay, all right. Well, let's take a look here. So, we have to go around this way. We don't have any choice, right? Because this is where we were putting all the pearls in, as I recall. Very important for our progression here. Okay, I'm trying to think. What's what's a p word that means the same thing as as uh, important? Hmm. I got nothing. Maybe next time. Anyway, we almost there. We are almost there. I am going to save scum a little bit here though, just to save some time. I think. Uh, so let's go here. We'll save the uh, save the thing, and now. What happens when we go through here again? Teleports us inside. We don't want to. We don't want to be inside. What happens when we come down through this one again? This brings us back to here, which I also kind of don't want. Do we maybe maybe we missed our chance to go uh, go through there? It would seem like we probably did, because we can't. I can't seem to get back over there. Well, I guess this is a mystery that will never be solved, and that will haunt me forever. But uh, I think it's time we moved on. Let's uh, go through here. We'll do one of these, and we'll take our little shortcut. And I guess we'll start looking at the ship a little bit. We got some time. Might as well. And then, uh, yeah, we're right there. Perfect. I don't know if we're going to level... I don't know if this counts as a dungeon exit so we can level up or not. Although, I don't think we... We're quite there. Oh, yeah, I was already looking at it. Oh, geez, so close. So very, very close. All right, well, away we go. Oh, it was some portal action even. Ah, because it's dry on the inside. Interesting. Very interesting. I could probably step over that bucket. You think maybe you could? That would be, that would be swell. Thank you, Envy. I appreciate that a great deal. Oh, jeez, treasure right off the bat, as was befitting for a ship in the ocean. Full of fucking pirates, apparently. 
course, I assumed that the, there would be pirates in here, and I believe these guys are actually a little bit weak to lightning because they are, uh, you know, in the ocean. According to the manual, anyway. Because it doesn't matter which one of these I pick. Oh, these guys have a ton of HP, though. Uh, let me... Where's where's my spell? <laughs> Stupid spell tabs, man. Getting me all flustered here. Yeah, you you walk away. You walk away, because you don't want what's coming. You don't want this, this skull to the face. Nobody wants that. Alright. Impress me. Make me believe. That's, uh, that's okay. It's... It's something. I think instead maybe we'll just do the dance for now. These guys, I don't know if they're actually weak to uh, any kind of weapon or not. I don't think they are. I think they're just... They exist. Is there another asshole behind him? Hard to tell. Oh, geez, these guys hit hard, though. Ooh. Dangerous. Uh, we're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat uh, one of those, and then we'll, we'll stack these up. We did use a shitload of those. I guess I could have been a little bit more free with the potions, but uh, the, the cure poison potions. I mean, I was definitely free with the other ones, but wasn't sure if we would uh, need more of them here. But also, in particular, if we're gonna need them later in the game. I mean, assume if we. Jeez, this is not the right place to do the dance. There we go. I assume if we're going to need it later in the game that they will, uh... They'll give us the opportunity to get some more. But, you know, these old games, you, you just never know. You never know. I feel like, you know, they've been pretty fair with, with the, the resources they've given us thus far. Actually, that was a lot more damage this time, I think. I think we get a little bit better roll. Um... Oh, one other thing, I, I, I looked up the uh, the Rage Potion that we, we used, it is uh, it is in fact a spell, and uh, we do lose strength from, from using it uh, afterwards, basically, when it, when it goes down, so uh, it's just important to keep in mind, mostly. I don't think it's gonna, you know, it's not like a big, big deal, but we can't, uh, can't seem to open that one. If I'm not heavy enough, I don't know what is. Maybe uh, I'm not as heavy as the rocks that I'm carrying, which would be very strange, but let's clear out this room first, shall we? And we'll see, see about, we can't, ah, we can't dance here. Dance here though. Oh, no, he's going to be a very aggressive dancing partner. No means no, good sir. Okay, here we go. Much better. I think, uh, you know be better if he lets us lead. No, traditionally men uh, are the ones who take care of that, but uh, you know, what can I say I'm a bossy dancing partner? There we go, all right. Call this the Tempest Two-Step, I believe is what this uh, dance is called. Now then, we have leveled up, that's good, well, so we'll be able to use that when we leave, I guess. I think that's how it goes, basically, once you leave a dungeon, then you get- oh, shit. Then you get to use your experience points? Okay, yeah, I think here's a good spot. Because I think that guy will back off. We're getting close to being able to cast uh, a little bit more lightning. Probably by the time we kill this guy, we'll be able to, uh, to do it again. I wish we had- you know what, let's try. Alright, tell you what. So I think that Vampire Mist spell was supposed to go forward a bunch. We got these guys lined up. This is going to take a shitload of magia, though. Whoops. Put your clothes back on, please, Envy. This is not the time. This is going to take up so much of our, our resources just to fucking test this, but I think that's enough. No, it's not even close. Uh, okay. Oh, I think we're like one. We're like one off. 384, and we have. We have, uh, 386. Suck it! Look at the fucking magic bar go. Okay, what's happening? Is this working? Why are we still dying? Oh, does this not do what I think it does? <laughs> this seems to be more like a buff spell. And you know what? I just realized it's not going to work on these guys because these guys are undead. And they have to have an actual life force for us to be able to vampirically drain them. My mistake. So we just wasted like 15 uh, Magia plants. That's fine. 
We didn't need those. Uh, good times. Luckily, this guy, this guy, uh, is going to die fairly soonish. But it's good. I, I'm glad I cast the spell because now I have maybe a little bit better understanding of what it does. So we'll we'll give it a, a try sometime. But I think our next points are going to go either in flesh or lightning. Now this guy did drop something interesting. Bloated heart. I guess we'll keep that. What do we? What's the damage here? We got three of these left. Hui, that's not very good. We're gonna have to be a little bit more judicious. We'll probably have to hit up the uh, spell altar before we leave as well. Uh, leave the the labyrinth that is. Just to use that jet void half that we have, I think that'll fully restore. Uh, I can't recall exactly how much it does. It's definitely a lot though, and it's definitely only usable at a spell altar, so I don't see any reason not to use it. Right now, the dance shall be uh, the savior of our our asses for now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. A little bit more. He's almost there. Thank you. Okay, now then. Man, there's just pirates everywhere in this thing. As should be expected, I suppose, being perhaps a pirate ship, but... Everywhere, man. Just want to check down here before we start going through doors. Let's see what's going on. This is a very long vessel. I guess it makes sense, though, you know, when you think about it. It is a ship. It would be shaped like this, after all. Stepping on all these plates because I'm curious if, um... I can weigh them down. Aha! There's the secret. The secret rock, which uh, will give us access to all our hopes and dreams, I think. Hopes and dreams being these rooms. That one, that plate is a little oddly placed, I think. Jeez, I'm crow. Wow. Alright, well, we got a pirate guide down... Was it... Where was he? Whoop, no, wrong way. This guy. Over here. There you go. So I think his animation just makes it look like there's a guy behind him a little bit. Yeah. He's got like a little bit of... A little bit of like a la carte fade going on there when he when he pops back up. Very strange. I guess it's his mystical undead piratiness coming to light there a little bit. Okay. It would be cool if this game had strafe though, because then we can get a little fancier with our uh, our dance here. But uh, sadly, the uh, the square dance doesn't come until later later games, I guess, or actually even earlier games. I think I, maybe not I the Beholder, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played very much of that, but there are some other games that have, earlier games that have the uh, the square dance. Um, let's see here, we got enough for a heal, but I think I'm gonna save my magic actually, for now. And uh, we're just gonna, I think, clear out the rest of these guys, and then we'll worry about going through all these doors probably next time, or might even end sooner than soon here getting uh, getting about to be time roughly but still we're we're getting some good weapon xp here at the very very least and i suspect we'll be uh we'll have enough uh, for another lightning spell on the next guy i think so we'll uh, we'll be able to level up our magic pretty well definitely by the time we're done with uh with this dungeon i'm sure I'm not sure how big this place actually is if it's like one of those, those things that's bigger on the uh, inside than it is on the outside, or what? Oh, yep, we don't want to stand here at all, though. There we go, much better. I think that's going to be everybody out in this uh, this little area out here. Maybe, probably. Do we have enough MP yet? Ow. These guys hit pretty hard, actually. There we go. Give them a little uh, skull to the face. Yep, laugh it up, that's fine. Yeah, it does quite a bit of damage, it really does. Like, that much damage would have one-shotted those Bloodthorns that we're fighting in the, uh, just in the Labyrinth. Pretty sure, or at least, uh, very close to one-shotting them. But I don't think the Bloodthorns were actually weak to lightning, so... So we got a couple guys we can talk to here, but I think... Let's double-check over here, yep, I think... Oh, more rocks, I will take that, even though it's gonna put us overweight a little bit, that is acceptable. Yep, that's gonna... Oh, balls, I missed a wall. Hang on. 
trying to end the episode here, but I must know. I must. Okay, yep, yeah, we got uh, we got some wall there. As one uh, may have expected. Okay, we got that. Did I not go all the way down here somehow? I could have sworn that I surely did. But yeah, we got a couple guys back there. It looks like we can talk to those talking uh, wall things that look like they're from the uh, the movie Labyrinth. Which is odd, since we just came from a labyrinth, but here we go. That's going to be... Oh, I just opened the door. Cool. All right. So maybe we'll go through that door next time. And uh, then we'll come back to these guys after. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. And until next time, my name has been Rojo. And thanks for watching.